Look, Wild, I've missed y'all too. My potassium's been low. That's how come I haven't gone live and I've just been making videos. But this here is Sketchy Chef and I love her to pieces. Y'all should follow her. I love her videos. She is just so funny. And right now she is cutting up some steak and she is making sopa de feo. And she's cutting up the steak and she already had the potatoes cut up. And this is a one pan meal right here. So that's our event this week is one pan meals. And tomorrow I go live making a one pan meal as well. And I think Miss Sherry is going to be in my box. This is not a trick, mine. I'll tell you right now. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this bone in as well. It gives it more flavor. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in. Oh, you take off all the fat, girl. I love some fat. of the big fat. I'll leave the little fat, but some of the I big eat fat. a ton of meat fat. I love it. And all if right, any, no. that's why you have heart failure. You're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically going to come together as soon as I'm done chopping this stuff. It's like it cooks so quickly. Okay, and again, you don't have to add, you know, you can add whatever meat you like or no meat at all. More veggies if you like. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of chick, so I think I'm going to like this. Hey, you need to do something. They think we're abusing that dog. All right. Uh, who is your, this, has, uh, this has all your usual suspects, okay? Who's your cameraman today? Ethan. Ethan, all right. So I don't know who to put around. <laughs> this has all your usual suspects, bell pepper, onion, tomato, garlic. Are they suspects because they're sketchy? What was that? Are they suspects because they're sketchy? Yes, always, every day. I mean, that bell pepper looks super sketchy. <laughs> hey, y'all, go ahead and tap those screens for us. Our goal today is 30,000 likes, and it helps us stay on the FYP, and it doesn't only help our wonderful chef here today. It helps all of our wonderful content creators. And please share this live with five friends and family. Even if you've already done it, just keep sharing. It helps us stay on the FYP, and it helps us more than you. So thank y'all so much. And we have 105 people in here. Let's try to get more than that, you guys. Let's invite our friends and our family and just see this wonderful stuff that he's making today. He's making sopa de feta. Deo. <laughs> trying to say it right. It's hard for me. I'm not good with other languages. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a kind of tongue twister. But it's just, a, it's just like a beef noodle kind of, it's not exactly a soup, but it's, Soup-y-ish, kind of. You've already cut up your steak and your potatoes. Ethan, can you show us the steak and the potatoes? Yeah, right there. She cut yeah, up. A she everything today. And now she's cutting up a bell pepper and a white onion and some tomato is what it looks like. Hi there, Chicken with Kaz. Hi there, Chef Bradley. All right, that's it. Okay. All right, that's it. Garlic. Hold on. This is my garlic. This is really simple. I'm telling you, once you put it together in the pan, it'll be done really quickly. Is that garlic? Yes, my elephant garlic. Bonita said something we should do in cooking club. I agree. Jeff this Bradley. is probably a very fun cooking club recipe because it's so easy. And I'm I'm just rough chopping all this stuff. No, no, no fine chops. It's gonna fall apart anyway. All right. All right, you can come around this way. That's it. I don't think I have anything else to chop. This is very easy. All right. So in a pan. I'm going to add the oil, okay? Just a little bit. Is that Maybe a lot of it. Maybe a little bit more. oil or regular oil? Just vegetable oil. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, oil. What? 
<laughs> okay, I should have had this. All right, it's going to take a second to get up here. And so I don't know if you, I don't know if you heard me before, but like there's all these special little noodles, but if you don't even have those noodles, you know, I have, I have broken up spaghetti before spaghetti or thin spaghetti, and it works just the same way as any of the shapes of noodles. Hey y'all, I'm just like granny and this is sketchy. So, but did I say it right? I, I, I'm trying. I really am. And it's a one pan meal and she's already cut up her steak, her pepper, her white onion, her elephant garlic and her bell pepper steak. Oh, potatoes. And she's going to start adding it all in here and some hot oil. We're going to be cooking that together. And looks, I mean, I'm onion and garlic girl. Good, I bet. Y'all please tap the screen and help me get 30,000 likes. Uh, elephant garlic is a type of garlic, a big uh, clove of garlic. It's like four garlic, garlic called elephant garlic. Please make sure you share the live, you guys, with five of your friends and family. It helps us out so much. And tap the guys, our goal is an elephant garlic. It's just really big, and I like them because instead of cutting up a bunch of little ones, I can just use one big one. So. Is it a garlic? I'm trying to hear them. It's okay. It's okay. And All she's right. just sticking her skin in garlic right now and some oil. Yes, it has and noodles in it. So if anybody wants to see the Look difference in that. size. So it's an elephant garlic compared to a regular garlic. So, yeah. Ethan, show it's me the It's much easier to cut one up. All right, so I'm just going to toast these noodles up in here until they get a little toasty. Yes, the garlic tastes the same. It's just bigger. They want to know where you got your cool wooden spoon at, Trisha. Oh, my goodness. You know what? It's already chipped. I've had this for so long. I really I really have no idea. I, I don't even know. It's beautiful. Honestly. It, I, if it wasn't TJ Maxx, I don't know. I get everything at TJ Maxx. I don't know. Like, you're a TJ you know Maxx. What? I think I got this at Bucky's. I got this at Bucky's, which is a Texas thing. I know they're expanding now, but... Um, I think I got this at Bucky's. Actually. I buy my stuff when I'm in America at Bell's. I don't know if y'all know what a Bell's is. It's a yeah. Discount. I love Bell's. Yes, yeah, I have another one. They're already chipped. I've had them for so long. These are like really, really, really old. And I know that bells because my sister used to work there and the manager head department lady came in one time and said saying it wrong it wasn't be owls it was bells so <laughs> I don't know if there's an ex exact toasty you should get your your noodles but uh, when my dad taught me to make it he wanted to see the noodles like brown. But I don't know if that's really necessary. So that's just the way I do it because that's just how he taught me to do it. Hey, we talk TV and who we have cooking here is Sketchy Chef. Her name is Trisha and I'm just like Granny and she's making soba de ale. And right now she's posting her noodles with some garlic, onions, and oil. Go ahead and tap the screen, please. It helps us stay on the FYP and it helps us get seen by people just like you that support us. Also, you share this live with five of your friends and family and go ahead and follow for people. So where's everyone from here tonight? I'll read it off to Trisha for her. That looks so good. I don't know why, but I've just like been in the mood for like pasta here lately. 
Massachusetts, Georgia, Missouri, Maryland, Texas, Texas, North Carolina. Oh, Texas. Dallas. Ohio, New York, South Carolina, Oklahoma, New York, New York, Kansas, Savannah, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, Kentucky, California, New York, Tennessee, Colorado, New Jersey. Is sushi doing in here? North Carolina, Dallas, North Carolina, Florida, Texas, Illinois, Minnesota. Ashton, is Sushi Dude in here? Did he say hello? Because I sushi. love his page. You all have to check him out. Yeah, the Sushi Dude is on here. He used to have a really I'm cool mustache, but he still makes sushi. So if you like, I'm going to follow him. because He I is you. the best. Okay. Louisiana. Uh, Dallas. Welcome, everybody. We hit our goal of 10,000 likes. Please make sure you're still taking us. Our goal for tonight is 30,000 likes. That would help us out so much. And please make sure you share this live with five of your friends and family South Carolina, Ohio, North Carolina, Texas. And make sure you're following. That way you never miss a live. We always have someone going live every day on Food Talk TV. So this is Jeff here. Her name is Trisha, and she's making Sopa de Fail. And right now, she's already toasted up her garlic, onions, and her vermicelli pasta. And now she's adding in her, her steak. This Tennessee. So if anybody's just coming in again, you don't need to add beef. You don't need to add any particular cut of meat. You can add... No meat or anything you like, chicken, pork, ground beef, uh, leftovers. Sometimes when I was growing up, my dad would add leftover whatever we had meat. Mostly steak. <laughs> I have a question for you. What is your favorite spice to use in the kitchen? What is what? Your favorite spice that you cook with. Is someone asking that question? I don't know. You know what I use no, a lot of? I, I use a lot of cumin. I, I use a lot of cumin for Mexican. Okay, for, for Mexican, I use a lot of cumin. Camino. That's what I, that's, not that it's my favorite, but that's what I use. We are making, well, I'm not making. Trisha is making sopa de feo. De feo. De feo. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I know. I know. It's a little. It's a little tongue twister. <laughs> I'm, I'm like. I'm super Caucasian. This is I, this I, is the kind of hard one. Y'all picked the wrong person to go live with you. If I can't. <laughs> I can't even speak my boyfriend's language. <laughs> All right. That looks good. Like, I would probably eat raw pasta. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Is that water? You have water coming from your... Oh, my yes, God. I, I want that. Potatoes. I'm gonna add in potatoes now. That looks so good. Hey, y'all, make sure you're tapping those screens and sharing this live with your family. It, helps out. it doesn't help me get you chef out. It helps out for TV. So she's already her garlic and her bowl, and she has cooked it. Ashton, here's that spice you asked me about that I always use. And then she's going to add in some cumin now, but she had added in her pasta pieces and and toasted them, added in some water in her meat, and she also added in a white onion, a tomato, a green bell pepper, and some cumin. And so she's going to cook that together. And the, I can get the secret that every Mexican has in their kitchen. You know what? Let me get some. Let me get a mic. Give me some of that. I love seasonings. I'm a big seasoning person. Okay, so I'm not going to be adding salt because that's pretty salty already. Yeah. 
I like that. I like that you uh, know that. I hate when people continuously add salt and already salty things, you know? We just hit our 15,000 likes, you guys. Thank you so much. Our goal is 30,000. Oh, okay, now this is just a matter of this coming up to a little simmer. And by that time, I hope... Oh, oh. there we go. There we go. Don't worry, that happens at my house every day. Hi there, Blue Smiles. Someone's asking, do you add bay leaves to this? I do not. I never have, but I guess you could if you like that flavor. I agree. Um, is an over seasoning trend. I like simple and people like to talk down to you on TikTok if you don't use everything in your cabinet. <laughs> um, I sent you a recipe, Ashton, and um, if you saw it, it was very similar to what I'm making. I don't know yeah, if you looked, looked at it. But, um, and so like the, the recipe is like very simple, you know, they might go about it a different way, like add this first, add that second, but it's 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 a pretty basic, and I think that recipe used ground beef, but it's like, this is a recipe that I've seen eaten in every home that, you know, on this, when I lived on the border. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's just very perfect. simple. It's it's not over seasoned, really. I mean, I guess you could add whatever you'd like. You know, it's, it's always good to tweak a recipe, right? Change it up. Exactly. I like I'm it. just, I'm just making the traditional way right now, though. But you know how how basic I am. Sometimes I like mayonnaise in my potatoes, and sometimes I like milk. And sometimes I like sour cream. So I just change. Okay. <laughs> That's how I change my stuff. Uh, they asking where you got your spatula. You already said at Bucky's. I think this was Bucky's. I love it. It's broken. Yeah. Who's the dead guy in the corner? Laugh out loud and looks delicious. That's my friend. <laughs> Watching <laughs> over me. <laughs> okay, you know what? I have something else to make, but seriously, I'm afraid to step away and like make that because this will be done quicker than I mean. I want to make sure it comes to a simmer and and I cover it. And it's because it. This is kind of a quick thing. Hey, Basically, that was the potatoes. Thousand likes. Make sure you're tapping those screens and please share this with five of your friends and family. It helps us here on Food Talk TV so much, all of our content creators. And you don't want and you want to go ahead and follow us because we go live every day. Like me, I'm going live tomorrow with Miss Sherry. Everyone's saying that looks so good. It does look good. It that smells really good. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay. Yes, it's going to be good. Chef, and you know what I forgot? Making this for 26 years now, but I have never added steak. Got to invite the kids. Ooh, there's you and them jalapenos. You always add them things. And you know, they do cook. give a flavor. <laughs> you are a spicy lady. Bama says, tell Trisha I said hi. Hola. Uh, Emily. <laughs> Kate said, that's my mom. Oh, Emily! Okay, that's my baby. That's my butterfly. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And uh, can you please remind me to check it in like seven minutes? Okay, all right. Uh, let's do part two. I'll set an alarm on my phone for you, Trisha. Okay, okay, just so I can Chef check it. Chef Bradley said he's never seen it with steak before. Really? Someone says they've never, Chef Bradley's never seen it with steak. Well, that's the only way I ate it growing up, with steak. Okay, you know what? I don't need to do the second part. What I'll do is my, my toppings. So now you can do as many or less toppings as you like. Look, there the she is, grated chicken. I love watching her do this. Don't cut your finger off like last time, though. <laughs> okay, wait. I don't need too much of this cheese. Let's do a little. <laughs> okay. You actually can crumble this. You don't even need a grater, but I'm Somebody doing it the, the lazy way, huh? I love cheese. What kind of cheese is that, Trisha? This is this is queso fresco. Whoops, I'm dripping everywhere. Can you see it? I love cheese, but cheese don't And again, love this doesn't even really need to be grated. You can just crumble it. It's like really crumbly. 
Hi there, Aura Jones. Hi there, Maria. Hi there, Mom. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Please, if you're coming in, please follow Food Talk uh -huh. TV. What was I doing now? I need and avocado. All of creators today we're making, well, Trisha is making sopa de fideo. Sopa de fideo. I sound so dumb when I'm trying to say it because <laughs> I'm trying to say it fast because I'm trying to say everything else fast. Make sure you uh, like, tap the screens, please. I'm flustered now because I'm embarrassed because I can't say it. Oh, I'll say it. I'll say it. Sopa de fideo. But just say fideo with just fideo. Fideo. It's easy. Fideo. fideo. You can say that's perfect. Fideo. Okay. There you go. That's easier. All right. So she's making fideo. A cereal spoon right there behind you. Or for more. Christy, thank you. Please share this live with five friends and family. Screens. Our goal is 30,000 likes. We are all the way. Likes. And I already have the suit over there on the pot. Okay. We have uh, four minutes. Thank you very much. Ready to cut some potato. And she's cutting up some avocado. I'm not sure what else she's doing. I think she's doing size for her. Suit. This is just like, these are toppings that are completely yeah. optional, totally not necessary. Uh, it's just for the fancy, you know. Uh, girl mama at 18 says, I love the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Please continue to have this. Please follow us. Someone goes live every day, and we're all kind of different kind of cooks, and you don't want to miss it. I'm going live tomorrow. Thank you. Are those limes, or are they come for? These are limes. Those are little bitty lines. They're key lines. Ah. Okay, now this this I made earlier, okay? This is some green tomatillo salsa. Uh, do I have a time for tomorrow? I usually go around uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. Hi there, Marie. And then we have some cilantro. And all this stuff was washed beforehand. You got two minutes and 30 seconds on your soup. Well, that means they like fideo. Just like me. That's cilantro. I love cilantro. A lot of people say it tastes like soap, but. I like it on some things. But I like people that are in Food Talk TV can go live. But you can also submit a video and we can put it on our page if you like it. Over here. We're looking for new members, so always talk to Kaz if you're up for it. Hey, y'all, make sure you're tapping those screens. We're almost at our 30,000 likes. This is Sketchy Chef right here. Her name is Trisha. And she is Check this out. And you got one minute, 33 seconds. It's only been five, it's only been five but it's bubbling over. And more on one and side than the other. Like Granny. Oh, those are some big jalapenos. They are. They don't have big ones like that in Sweden. They're so tiny here. It's because I'm in Texas, Ashton. Everything's bigger in Texas. I guess that's true. <laughs> that's a Texas joke, obviously. <laughs> My kids say, if I have to explain my joke, it's not funny. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. That looks really good, though. I am a soup person. Hey, y'all, why don't y'all tell us what your favorite soup is in the comments below, and I'll read them out to everybody. Make sure you're tapping those screens, though, and please share the live with five of your friends and family. Hi, Julie. I love soup. Everything is bigger and better in Texas, Chef Bradley. French onion soup says Erica. Oh, yeah, see, Chef Bradley gets it. Uh, Trey, she is Bradley making uh, white chicken chili says thrifted roots. Jacka says Portuguese soup. My favorite soup is chicken and gnocchi soup. 
from uh, Olive Garden. Baked potato, a broccoli soup, taco soup, egg drop soup, hamburger soup, Greek lemon, chicken soup. Oh, there goes my alarm for you. Vegetable soup. I'm looking at it. That's my favorite. Oh, sauerkraut soup. Oh, I've never heard of that. Like two more minutes. We'll lower it. Chicken tortilla soup from a dong soup, homemade chicken noodle, chicken no noodle soup, broccoli cheese, and chicken Greek soup. Ooh, I like cabbage soup, hot and sour soup. Good evening, Dan. We should do a soup series. That's a good idea. Since I'm in charge of series, I think I think Hungarian mushroom. He's so quick at cooking. Yes. So she's Dale. Uh, yes, it is 11:30 p.m. for me. Uh, hello, Becky. Hey there. So she's making fideo, and she's already had a couple of sides that she put with it, or not sides, toppings. This is Sketchy Chef here, and her name is Trisha, and she is making fideo. She put in onion and garlic and some oil and cooked it down, and she added in her steak bits and her ver vermicelli uh, pasta bits and toasted them. And then she added in her bell pepper, her tomato, and white onion, and then she put water in it. And her bouillon and her chicken bouillon and cumin and then she put uh, her jalapenos in there and that's what she did Peking soup oh actually there is a soup called Tom Ka something I really love that it's like a lemony uh, I've made that I had to get so lemongrass good. from the Asian store yeah Tom Ka's good a sopa, de, a sopa de fideo. Oh, that was good, Ashton. I got it right. So only the last word was easier. Hungarian mushroom. And now you're going to toast up some tortillas. Is that cast iron? Yeah. No, it's not. Is it? No, this is not. The hard one. Sure, anyone's fine. That's is a big pan to fit tortillas like that. Is that like a special pan? I don't know. You know, for those that don't know, I have 10 kids. I have six still living at home. So I need, everything has to be big. You know? We hit 30,000. You know what? I found this at TJ Maxx, okay? And I was like, wow, that's really big. <laughs> Ethan, show your mama. We hit 30,000. She has to do a happy dance. Oh, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Great camera work, Ethan. We hit 30,000. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Please make sure Thank you still you. Online. And please don't forget to follow Food Talk TV. You don't want to miss anybody going on. Look, she made a flower on her stove. Ethan, great camera work. It's a sunflower. That looks so good. Hey, y'all. Just stopping by the TV and here we have sketchy chef Trisha Sopa de Fideo. And All right, so I just turned it off. It's 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 the potatoes are soft. Yes. Um, and then she's warmed up some tortillas. And she's also cut up Ethan, can you show the sides that she made, the toppings? She did some uh, salsa, avocado queso, cilantro, lime, and then she's going to put all the soup together for us to show us. So, thank you. We are so grateful for all the follows and the shares. You guys, you have no idea how grateful we are. We love your support. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I wish I could smell that soup. But it smells like a Mexican restaurant. I feel like okay. I Okay, that's what it smells like. Whew. All right. Beautiful. This is done like as, if you add potatoes, like as soon as the potatoes are done, because these noodles don't take very long. Mm. 
and it's good to eat this warm because if you leave it, it'll absorb, um, you know, the liquid. So, oh my God, it looks so good. It smells delicious. Chef Bradley says, do you have an extra room? <laughs> I have a cabana, sure. <laughs> she has like a, a guest house outside. I actually do, actually. You can come, come stay in. Have some video. Because Kaz stayed in it, and since Kaz stayed in it, I, I see that as an open welcome for myself. <laughs> Anybody? All right, here's this. Which, I'm not going to try to taste it yet because it's so hot. Okay. That looks so beautiful, though. Like, I love that little blanket you got there. That's, I love colors. It makes me want to go crochet because now I want to crochet <laughs> blankets. <laughs> Because so it's been about that time, you know, year to crochet, and now it's making me want to. I love wooden cutting boards. They're just so beautiful. Hey, y'all, make sure you're following Food Talk TV. If you're not, we have someone go live every day. Like, I'm going live tomorrow around 12 p.m. Eastern. Right. Uh, it's dairy in my box, I believe, and I'm going to be making a one- pan meal event as well so y'all don't want to miss it we are at 34,000 likes like that is crazy I am so proud of y'all y'all really show y'all support the food talk tv and I am just beyond like amazed and just thrilled that you guys are just supporting us so much I'm just so happy look at my face it hurts from smiling that I'm just so happy about y'all support it's crazy. All right, come over here, Ethan. I'm so glad you like get, watching. Um, could you get me a cup of ice, David? Oh, are we having a dessert, too? Okay, so I know it's one-pot meals, but it's such a quick meal, like it's done. So uh, just a measuring cup like of ice. I'm excited. We're making so this, a this is not my recipe, but and I've never made it before, and I'm super excited to make it. And it, it's from Bar Chemistry, okay? That's where I got it. This is a Brazilian lemonade, so I'm super excited for this. Okay, now, so we need four limes quartered. I rewashed them. Those are some big limes. Or those aren't the key limes. No, these are regular limes. So, no, I need the other, the big ice. You could do the big ice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because that's not going to work. Okay. Are you going to blend even with the skin? The whole thing. And anybody can see this on bar chemistry. And man, I saw this recipe and I was like, I'm making it. I think what caught my attention was he blended the whole line, including the, the skin. I have tried but You know, when, when Chaz came to visit, he made a lemonade and he used the skins. Not in the lemonade, but the process. It was the best, Tasted, it was the best lemonade we ever had, yeah. You got one more lime in there. Okay. 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 Uh, fill it. Yeah, fill it up. Okay. Then you do one cup of sugar, which I already have measured out. Okay. One cup of sugar. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I don't have to prep anything. Six I just, I, I'm all lost. And Kaz is like, you need to prep. I'm like, no. Yeah. So six tablespoons sweetened condensed milk. Eagle Brand is the best sweet condensed oh, like, milk. I'm not gonna come off. I heard your son laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, laughing at you. <laughs> your tablespoons. <laughs> We got uh, 40,000 get you, Chef. And oh, I'm so excited about this. There's 30 people in here. I do that, too. Oh, and my then God, I it's so good. I mean, the cameraman gets the rest. All right. Um, four and a half cups of water. I need that doohickey on my stove. I'm going to tell David he has to build me that. Hey, 
redo in my kitchen. Whoa, I have that same Pyrex thing. It holds four cups. Yeah, I added a little more. Half cup ice. All right, the whole thing, whatever. Uh, and blend. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I am so excited. I've never seen it. Before. I feel like we're doing some uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. You should put a little bit of tequila in there. Well, wait a minute, Ashton. You're getting ahead of me. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. All right. But this, so far, is non-alcoholic for any of my kids that want to try it. Okay, now, this is so much glass, okay? I don't... I put all my glass away when my kids were born. I just took this out for today, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay. Drain it. I'm going to make a mess. Ah! Is it all going in? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just a standby person watching this. <laughs> like, my eyes are so big right now because I'm just like, I've never seen anything like this. So... Well, I, I got this. I'm from Bar Chemistry, okay? Anybody can go look this up. I feel like I'm in science class. Let's see if I can. <laughs> hey, y'all. If y'all were just coming in, please make sure you're sharing the live with five of your friends and family and go ahead and follow Food Talk TV. You don't want to miss any of our lives. Someone goes live every day, and we're always making different things and cooking. We're kind of like Food Network, but, you know, without all the commercials. Like but better. Buy all this and that. Yeah. <laughs> we're like Food Network, but better. Okay. Chef Jeff says, what's good, Sketchy? So It's she, all good. It's all good. She's making a Brazilian lemonade, I think. Yes. Yes. This is, I don't know if you can read my horrible writing, but this is the recipe, and and I did write at bar chemistry at the bottom. That's that's where I found this. Mm. That looks good, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get some of the lime out of here because it's not letting me. Let me get the lime out. Ah! Lime everywhere. All right, let's start over. Hey, y'all, make sure you're following Food Talk TV and tap in those screens and share the live. Like you're not just going to go. Readers from Food Talk TV, you like cooking with Cass, Jerry underscore Skinner, October Dragonfly, Frank M. for SF. We also have Gluten Free Mama Ann. We have Cook It Erica, Guada Cooks, and a Sketchy Chef here. I'm missing someone. October Dragonfly, Sherry, Guadalcook. Oh, Ashby Cooking. That's it. That's who I was missing. Honestly, this feels like it's more complicated than my than the fideo. <laughs> Not that it's complicated, just okay. And then is gonna be tequila, right? It's gonna be. It's going to be cachaça, which is a Brazilian rum. But I did read that if you don't have that, you could just use rum or vodka. Uh, for your kids yeah. in case you didn't want any with alcohol in it? What? You said any aside so that your kids could have some without alcohol? Yes. Yes. Um, I need more ice. Let me see. Do you have more ice for me? I, I love ice. I'm an ice person. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so I, got this. I love your ice. You got like that Sonic ice. I have the ice machine over here. Yeah. All right. Now, I saw him add two ounces to like a, an amount. I don't know what the amount was, but I'm going to add two ounces to mine because that's what 
that's how I roll. I love this. He loves creating alcoholic drinks. All right. So I use the cachaça, which is the Brazilian rum. Turn it down. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. I think it needs more alcohol. I don't know. Please We have sketchy stuff here and she is Brazilian lemonade. She also oh. makes sopa de teo. And uh sits over there with all her sides on it. Look, don't put a little umbrella on it. Look. I have an umbrella. Whatever. Okay. And the glass has got a little bee on it. That's Look, sweet. Look, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm just missing one thing. My mama's favorite drink is a white Russian. Over here. I hear some. Oh, room. this is dangerous. I don't Is even taste the liquor. It tastes like the best limeade ever. Okay. There we go. Here we go. So let me roll this over, Ethan. I don't know if you want to show this one last time. This is, this only had one cup of sugar and with the limes, I feel like it's not too sweet. It's medium. It's not too sweet, but it's not sour. It's just perfect. You know what? That would be a perfect video for this one of your things that you do, you know, where you're like, my husband demanded that I bring him <laughs> his food on a tray. All I know, right? Hours. I'm great. Like, That's going too far. Okay. Let's see here. What are we missing? What are we missing? That's it. This is it. That is it really is. Oh, you got your tortillas right so there. So there's, there's the whole meal. And you can add whatever. Let me see. Give me that spoon. Would you right here? I mean, you like a, like a teaspoon? You know, if I got this at a restaurant, I would happily pay at least $60, $70 for the whole thing. You know, I would more than happily pay that. I probably couldn't even finish it. This is great. Hey, y'all, make sure you're following Food Talk TV and tapping those screens. We're like 300 away from 50,000, and that is amazing. And we're only five away from 30 shares. Please let us hit those goals. So please follow Food Talk TV. It helps out so much. And this is Sketchy Chef here, and she made so good. And she did it with uh, And she has like some queso. She has avocado, cilantro, salsa verde. And a Brazilian lemonade to go with it. Screenshot. 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 If not, just go to Bar Chemistry. And, and it's like one of his recent videos. That guy's my new BFF for drinks. I don't even know him. He doesn't know me, but he doesn't know he's my BFF. This is delicious. We are 51,000 sketchy. You All did right, well. Thank you for that, and thank you for watching, and and hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, hasta la vista, baby. Hasta mañana. Okay, bye. All right, love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, bye now.